What is up guys and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. Now I know we've all been there and believe it or not it happened to us about what two months ago? So you've seen us do a battery charger before but we only had one. Well what happens when you leave that battery charger in the other car? Well it leaves you stranded. So we picked up another one from the guys at Auto One. So let's get into it. So we're gonna get this popped open. And guys, there are tons of battery boosters on the market. So if you're gonna buy one, why not buy one that has a few other tricks up its sleeve? So this one from Auto One has a power bank and a flashlight. So that way if your phone's dead, you've got an emergency charge in there. What do you think of the form factor, babe? I like that it's small. I love how lightweight it is. So you can see your ends, you can see your flashlight there. Um, and you've got an engine start there. All right, so yeah, super easy, nice case. Yeah, it has charge on it already coming out of the box. Oh, nice. Oh, it's got, yeah, three bars you can see it. a indicator there. So it's got your, it's got at least three quarters of a charge, which should be enough. So I don't know how to turn the backside on. To boost the little Z. Well, yes, that's, that's what the instructions, the instructions are for. Are for. <laughs> one, okay, so the indicator, if you've got one solid bar, it's 25% battery. Two solid bars is 50% battery, 50% uh, power. Three solid bars is 75% power. And four solid bars is 100% power. Yep, we sort of guessed that. So to jump start the car, you have to have more than 50% power, which okay. we do. So we're at 75%. So and we then, should be. So we'll do that in just one second, but then the flashlight, you press the this, this switch three times. So that was one. There we go. So, yep, yeah, you can see it. It's, it is on. So you can and see it lighting up. And then you can also hand. do SOS by press shortly. There we go. Oh, nice. So if you're on the side of the road, guys, you're having an emergency, um, this could help flag somebody down. Yeah, it's straight giving the SOS. And then nice. uh, press shortly for strobe. And so you can see it's a little faster. Okay. Nice. And then one, and then I guess three seconds maybe to turn it off. Yep, perfect. Perfect. All right, so we still have, like I said, 75% power. So we should be able to boost the little Z. Guys, this is my project. It, uh, it just lives here in the driveway. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't run. Um, so this battery dies quite live. often. It does not live. <laughs> so we're going to see if this has enough to, uh, to power it up. Do you remember how to do it? I do not. All right. I didn't pay attention. I was more concerned about the flashlight. All right, so to jump start, you insert the jumper cable into the box. Other side, probably? No, right here, engine nope. start. Where it says engine start. Oh, gotcha. You pull that off. Um, it can only go one way, yep. squares and circles. If you ever played with blocks as a child, you should be able to get that. I realize. Some of the newer generation might not realize that just yet, but that's okay. Right. We're here to teach you. We're here to teach you. All right, which terminal do you hook up first, babe? For people that have never jumped off a car, you're going to give some millennials an education right now. Our red to pluses and black to minuses. All right. So you will look at your battery. You will connect the red to red, which is the plus on the battery, the black to black, which is going to be the minus on your battery. I heard it quick. It and then quick. hit. It's doing something. In and there. she's going to get in there. Okay, it's doing something. You can hear clicks. I can hear my door buzzer. So it's definitely giving the battery some power without having to press anything. Holy crap. Hey, listen to my little baby. Leave it running a little bit, baby, since, since uh, we don't ever run it. Nice. Is it in neutral? You can let your foot off the clutch and uh, just let it sit. There we go. All right. You didn't know if it was in neutral, did you? No. I thought <laughs> I'd put it in neutral. All right. I'm not a straight drop person. Well, good job. Holy crap. She fired right up. So we can unhook that now. Super quick and easy. So 
what's really cool about this is that sometimes with chargers you do have to press a, a button that gives it the power. Uh, yeah. We didn't have to do that. As soon yeah. as we hooked it up to the battery, it immediately everything started firing right up. Yeah, so everything really clicked. Cool. I heard that my buzzer's going off, and I was like, "She's alive!" And so that she still has super. seventy-five percent power. Wow! And then after that jump, that is awesome. Yeah, um, this is this is really awesome. Um, so uh, that's going to live in your Jeep now, isn't it? Yes, it really is. <laughs> Damn it! Um, I was looking to find the weight of the actual unit. Oh, it's, it's very light. It's really lightweight. It doesn't stay on the bottom. Man. Guys, let me know what you think of my Z. I've got all kinds of stuff that I want to do to it, such as a V8 swap. Let me know in the comments what you think of this baby. What should I do with it? So, I don't know how long it takes to charge this uh, this unit up completely. Let me see if it's on the instructions that you have. I love that it came with enough charge to boost the car off right off the bat. Yeah, and I love the, the box and how compact it is. It's yeah, look at this, guys. It's got dividers really in here. Easily. It's got mesh. It is a USB and a, a USB to USC charge. Yep. So, I mean, most units... Actually, is that a little bigger than USB-C? Nope, it's USB-C, you're right. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it should, It's you know, it's got the modern charging technology, so you should be good to go. So, yeah, like it. Great form and function. Very easy to use. Very Super. Easy. Way easier than the other one we reviewed as well. Yeah. And that's why I'm pretty mad that you said you're keeping this one in your Jeep and I get the other one. But the other one's orange and you liked it orange. This thing is super powerful with 4,500 amps, which is suitable for all gasoline and almost all diesel engines up to 12 liter. This thing is extremely compact and easy to use. I can't express that enough because you literally don't have to do anything but plug it in. The other thing, it has 10 different functions to keep this thing from overheating and it is the latest and greatest battery technology. So this thing can be in standby mode for up to 24 months. If you look at the pricing for a similar sized battery pack just to charge your cell phones, you'll be paying close to the price of this unit. So I can't say enough good things about it. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Let me know what you thought about this charger in the comments, and also what you would do with a little Nissan Z car. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.